Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I've got a really cool OpenTX trick to show you. Yeah, this is going to be a fast and fun video, really simple to do. Here's the deal. I have a standing offer to my patrons to make them a custom splash screen, so I'm frequently asked to make custom splash screens. And before I give them to the patrons, I always put them on my radio to test them out and make sure they come up and work on an OpenTX radio. So I'm going to turn the power off on my radio and power it on and give you the frame of reference. That's a splash screen. So when you're first powering the radio on, that's the default splash screen. In the past, the way I've been managing my splash screens is I connect my radio to the computer with the USB cable. I copy the new splash screen onto the SD card in the images folder. And then once it's in there, I rename it and then I reboot the radio and I test the splash screen, right? The problem comes when I want to go back to my splash screen. Then I have to reconnect the radio to the computer take the old splash screen and move it somewhere else, rename my splash screen, splash.png, and then I'm all set. While I was fooling around with the radio recently, I found this option, and this is one of the reasons I love the OpenTX developers so much, because they're really smart like this. So I hit the system button, I'll page over to the SD card, go to my images folder, and I made a little folder called backup, so from now on, I'm just gonna drop all of my splash images in that backup folder, and when I click on the backup folder, you'll see it list a couple of different splash images. There's the default, and notice the naming convention I use. Splash Zero, that's the original. Splash One, that could be my favorite one. And Splash Two is another one that I'll use just for fun or just to change things up from time to time if I want. So if I want to use this image as my splash screen, for example, all you have to do is long press on the jog dial and select the first option that says Splash Screen. And the radio takes care of all the work for you. Now you turn it off, turn it back on, And there's your new splash screen. And if you say, nah, I don't want that one. I want to change it to something else. Click on images, backup. And I'll pick my favorite one. I'll long press that and I'll say splash screen. Turn the radio off. And there we go, my favorite splash screen. Now the advantage of putting a little backup folder in the top of your images folder is that lets you get to it really easy and quick. So you see, I don't really have to do any navigating. Just go to the SD card, images folder, and then backup, and my splash screens are right there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this fun little OpenTX snippet. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know a new material hits the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. Hello, welcome to OpenTXU. <laughs>